Another module. Blackguard. Three module series. Um, never played it. I've been aware of the series, but never played it. Uh, I'm playing it for a couple of reasons, basically because uh, I'm playing this module, so I'd like to play things also that I haven't played before. So here we have, and it has one other benefit. It it requires a evil character. Basically, it's it's not named Blackguard for no reason. So. It allows me to play a character I haven't played so far. Recommended first level evil character black guard one of them. So that we aim we're gonna aim for becoming a black guard. Hardcore rules, which we've always placed under. You start near Yartar, your homeland. You are finally home after these long years with one simple thing in mind. Bring this city to its doom. They all have to pay. And especially her. Mysterious man still in your dreams. You don't know why or what does he want. And actually, you don't really care. The only thing you are sure of, though, is your dreams will come true. And before this is over, you will have her head on a pike. Along the way, you will have to learn. Hmm. Not exactly a good uh, intro to this. Seems like it all, it's almost cuts off. Yeah. Anyway, playing as an evil design campaign. We'll see how this goes. I don't know if this. What's the nature of the campaign? Is it uh, role playing heavy? Or is it hack and slash heavy or something? But uh, we'll see. Human is just fine. Uh, I don't want to make things too complicated here. Uh, again, we'll stick with the typical portraits, just to avoid crashing issues. I have no recollection what Black Guard requires. It's evil warrior. It's uh, it's sort of a I suppose a evil paladin-like character. A blank guard epitomizes evil. They are nothing short of mortal fiend, a black knight with the foulest sort of reputation. Many refer to black guards as anti paladins due to their completely evil nature. No one class makes the best black guard. All that is required is a willingness to serve the forces of darkness. It is, uh, it dies 10, so it is definitely a very much a warrior. It's all simple and martial weapons, all types of armor and shields, so again, a very fighter-like. We need an evil character, with a base attack bonus of 6, which means we probably want to start as something that has a high attack class. Otherwise, it'll take a huge amount of time to get to black guard levels. Uh, it'll take at least 5 levels in the best case. We need cleave, which means we need power attack and cleave, typical fighter beat stuff, so we can we can basically start the game with that. Hide 5 ranks. Uh, that's uh, That might be a problem. Uh, if we take a uh, pure fighter, it might be a problem. Because I don't think it's a class skill. Which means we can take two points with at the start of the game and half a point every level. So by level six we'll have five. So it's not a problem. We just have to we'll just have to take it constantly. What does okay, what does black guard do? Use poison. Automatic success when coding a weapon with a poison. I, I, I usually don't use poison, so I might look into that. Uh, basically, because what difference does it make? That's the main reason. They're incredibly expensive to buy, and what? Someone's stats are gonna drop by a few points. In a usually in a situation that's uh, trivially easy to get. To, to survive anyway and kill your target, so I, I never saw the point. Uh, poison would have to be something you can make or you have easy access to, cheap access to, then it might make sense. Especially 
depending on specific target. So some kind of assassination module might be interesting in that sense that you, instead of killing a huge amount of creatures, you have specific targets that you have to infiltrate and take out. That sort of thing might be interesting. Smite good. Add charisma modifier to attack rolls. So this is all and the saving throws. So this is all paladin crap. Full strength a spell, so we get strength buffs. Probably like is this an actual spell or is this just a spell like ability? It's probably a spell like ability because otherwise you would have a spell list. Turn undead, make undead flee, create undead, summon an undead ally, sneak attacks, summon fiend, summon a fiendish ally, inflict serious wound, wounds a spell, contagion a spell, sneak attack increases, inflict critical wounds a spell, sneak attack increases. So it's a fighter that has leanings toward being a rogue for extra damage. We could take a longer path to the Black Guard by doing non-fighter levels. Where the benefit would be that we would probably get sneak attacks, so there's a good chance that we would stack with other sneak attack bonuses. But I'm not sure if we have the luxury. Anyway, we, we know what we more or less need to do. Uh, I'll start as a fighter. Chaotic evil. I I care about myself and my goals, and I give sh there basically zero shits about anything else. If I don't have any interest in doing that, I, I don't. Bas I basically have you know, no intention of doing that. It has to have some benefit to me. Maybe I yeah I might. Uh, it doesn't mean that we have. It has to be connected to some kind of master plan that we have. Just that. I personally have to have some uh, investment in it, in it. If it's something that I don't give two shits about, I, I don't benefit in any way, I uh, probably am not gonna do it. If it. Even if it just gives me the lulls, it's good enough of a reason to do it though, so we'll see how where that goes. Uh, strength is very important. Uh, cleave requires 13 dexterity, I'm pretty sure. How much uh, we want charisma too, we'll get some bonuses through that. Hmm. Now, where do we want to go? Uh, I think basic intelligence is gonna have to be enough. We could go for expertise, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. It, this is not... If you play a fighter, you're the one that kills shit. You're not the one that's supposed to stay there and do nothing, unless you have a lot of companions that can put a lot of hurt on the target. I, I think we're basically the one that best shit... wrecks shit up, and there's no one else we rely on. So a little bit of extra survivability wouldn't hurt. I'm not sure where the two points is best spent. We might have use for intelligence. Because we need to increase hide, we need to increase uh, discipline, that's the bare minimum. Um, a little bit of extra intelligence elsewhere wouldn't hurt. We could also do a sort of a switcheroo with these. 13 is the minimum for Cleave and uh, expertise. Sometimes you, you need to. Uh, you have a target that's very good at attacking but doesn't have strong defenses, so expertise is a lightsaber in such situations. So I'm gonna do slight intelligence, strength, dexterity, shit. I'm not sure this uh, charisma is really a good idea. That's because we benefit a little bit. Through it doesn't mean it's a it's worth the investment, so it might be better to do uh, this way.
20 points. Discipline is a must. Uh, I think it was high, right? I will take tumble. But do we take every anything else? What exactly can this do? Lore isn't a bad idea. Heal isn't a bad idea. But how about conversation skills? I have no idea how they if there's any support for those in this game. I have no idea about how the power levels go with items and usables. Maybe parry. I almost never use this. Because uh, yeah, because we're we're the we're the basher, we're the killer. We we don't have the luxury of waiting for a lucky dice roll so before we can attack a target. We need to just beat the shit out of them. Maybe taunting. I think it would fit the character too. We can provoke an enemy into dropping his guard for a short time. So this is a concentration check. Oh, maybe we should take concentration. It is considered an attack. If the taunt is successful, the opponent suffers an armor class penalty equal to the difference between the taunt roll and the defensive defender's roll for five rounds. Target will also suffer a 30% chance of spell failure if they don't resist the taunt. So this could be incredibly annoying against certain type of op opponents. Um, I'm inclined to take surge because otherwise we won't be able to spot traps and like, like can't at all, but at the same time I couldn't disarm them even if I wanted to, so what the fuck is the point? Right, four points. We could choose a skill to develop. To be lying. I, I don't give two shits about that though. Ah. Uh, hmm. Gotta take something. Honestly. Spellcraft might not be a terrible idea. Because every 5 ranks of this skill, all saving throws against spells are increased by plus 1. I, I guess I would take. Normally, I would take something like lore or. Search. I'll take the lore. So we we're, we're we have some decent amount of intelligence. We have some uh, training. We're somewhat learned fighter. We're not just a stupid group. Three feet. Okay, that's quite a lot. Uh, power attack and cleave has to be our primary things. That way we don't have to worry about those. Uh, weapon focus wouldn't be a bad idea, but at the same time, I have no idea what the weapons we can expect. So, knockdown. Right. Cleave, knockdown, power attack. Gives us at least two abilities we can actively use. never gonna look at this so I'm not sure why I'm changing the face. Okay. We could go for tattoos this time. Uh, I'll go for the bigger body. Hmm. 
perfect. Get on them! Attack, I say! By my direction, attack! Attack! Rip you to shreds! Yeah, this sounds about right. What lovely name are we gonna pick? Nicho Marlson. Pow. What the fuck is that? Power Chan Coles. Lando Roger. Yeah, that's. We're Lando Roger. Chaotic evil human. Wants to be a black card someday. Another dream. Slaughter them. <laughs> Look at those fools. Their only purpose in life is to be butchered. No, not you again. Why have you summoned me this time? I never summoned you. You just keep coming into my dreams without invitation. Like you always do. I've made my way in dreams for centuries now. I never come unsummoned. What is it this time? Can't you see? Are you not enjoying? Yes, of course I do. I always enjoy your dreams. Hatred. Blood. Death. And destruction. Yes, of course, that too. So, you think you are up to the task? Oh, please, keep your lecture for someone who cares. And you think they will let you destroy Yartar? Who told you about Yartar? Your dreams. I'll never forget. They are doomed. Timora won't save them. They will all pay. Oh, really? No! Look how easy you are defeated. You dare to tamper with my dreams? I will summon the dark powers if I must. I will show you. Yartar will fall. No one will stop me. Hear me, O oh forces of darkness. Come to me. Destroy them. Very good. I know a novice when I see one. Shut up. Inspiring, I must say. It is your dream, after all. But it will take a little more than hear me, oh crap, to summon any servants from their abyss. Remember what I had told you. Seek out Fargrak. He's waiting for you in Yartar. Follow his leads and only then will you be ready. Ready for what? Time to wake up now. Right. But we def We desperately want to be a black guard, but we're just a fog basically at this point. Lando. Wake up, Lando. Wake up. Fargrak is waiting for you in Yartar. He has already sent someone to meet you here. Go now. Any... Advice? We have some kind of book. This is your personal diary. You've written many things in it during the past few years. 
Some pages are filled with minor notes of no importance, while others describe events that change your entire life. I can't believe this has happened. This can't be. My native city has destroyed me. No! <laughs> Dialogue is, uh... Uh, we're, we're a cartoonish evil character, apparently. Let's just roll with it, though. A week now. I had to leave before they came for me. Pain still fresh. They must not get away with this. She will not get away with this. A whole year traveling around, I haven't forgotten. A whole year wondering about what mom must I do. I hate them. I hate them. They must pay. All of them. Just like in my dreams. Who is that man in my dreams? It has been two years now. I want revenge. Revenge! I dream about it. I dream about their blood spattered everywhere. Soon, that whoever he is, still ap appears from time to time. He says he likes it when I spill blood in my dreams. I told him to just enjoy the slaughter and keep quiet. I will leave none of them alive. None of them alive. I spent the whole night dreaming about how I would kill her. When I woke up, I knew. Before this is over, her head will be up on a pike. Like a sharp rock on a boot. He was still there, watching me. Three years traveling around the Dales, coming of age, learning to kill. This time, I'm heading toward home. Home. Is it really home anymore? The stranger appeared again last night in my dreams. Just after I finished slaughtering all those people, yet again. Then he told me about this Fargrat fellow. I don't know why. I'm sick and tired of having to listen to him. I stand near Yartar, my homeland. I sleep here tonight. And tomorrow, they will all feel my wrath. Yeah, uh, with your studded leather armor and sh one short sword, I, I don't think they're gonna feel anything. The other... Any other notes? Mm. You are now near Yartar, your homeland. With one simple thing in mind, burn it to the ground. Old memories, painful ones, you will never forget. This time they won't escape your wrath. How? You don't know yet. The answer will surely come in due time. A stranger told you of a man named Fargrak. And this morning, you heard his voice telling you that somebody is waiting for you outside Yartar. Uh, okay. Morses. Well met. Hello, sir. My name is Morses. I'm looking for someone with your description called Lando. Maybe you'd know him. Who sent you? Who told you my name? Glad to meet you, Lando. The guild told me your name. They told me you were a visitor of some importance. I was sent by the hand of Yartar to help you in any way I can. So, the question is simple. What can I do for you? Tell me about this Hand of Yartar. Well, the Hand of Yartar, you know, the guild, I should not have to explain. What can I do for you? What kind of help can you provide? Well, what kind of help did you expect? Sorry if you expected something else, but my aid is limited to information only. After all, I'm just an errand boy. What can I do for you? Tell me about yourself. My name is Morses. I work for the Hand of Yartar, and I am the contact you were to meet right here. And that, my friend, is the only thing you will know about me. 
Not that I want to be rude, but I'm not paid to talk about myself, you know. Tell me about this city. Things are quiet in the city. The water baroness is still in charge. She's been there for many years now. Since she was elected, the city has prospered, which is good for us, actually. Many new potential clients, or victims if you prefer. But at the same time, the sheer number of guards around now is totally insane. Water Baroness is so motivated to have what she called the safest city in the north that she tripled the amount of guards on duty, so we must be extra careful in going about our activities. Go on. What has the Water Baroness done lately? I don't really know her complete agenda, but since she is a paladin of Tyr, she couldn't rule here without building a temple in honor of Tyr. <sighs> Tyr's followers are just not my favorite people, you know. Justice here, laws there, boring. Timora is more to my liking. The happy hall is still there. Hmm. Is this your first visit to Yartar? Or perhaps you just have heard about the biggest temple of Timora in the north? Well, yes, the Happy Hall is still there. Many travelers make a stop here to receive the blessings of Timora. With all the tribes of all kinds of not friendly monsters in the north, it is dangerous to wander about without the blessing of the Lady of Luck. Do you know someone called Farcrack? Hmm, I think he's that new guy from I don't know where doing I don't know what. Who's staying at the guild these days. I try to avoid him. He looks too religious to my taste. I must see him. I see, but the access to the guild is restricted. You will not pass the entrance if you don't have the proper warden token. And for that, only Grassar can help you. He's the one responsible for giving out the war tokens to those who need one. Tell me then, where can I find this Grassar? Grassar is not the easiest man to find, but if you are lucky, you might catch him in one of the two taverns in the Artar. Or if not, you could just ask there. Maybe someone will know more. What can I do for you? Nothing at the moment. Goodbye. Okay. A signpost. That says signpost. Excellent. That's very useful. Assuming that's the Artar. And this is nothing. Right. Moving on. So, taverns in the Artar. Shield guard, yeah, they're way beyond me. Maybe I should put the weapon away. Coin toss tavern. Well, does any other to start with? Hello there. Tana, Tana Tuskar Moonwind. Hi, my hi friend. I'm Tana Tuskar, the tavern keeper. How may I help you? Hmm. Tell me about Yartar. Uh, this is a fine city since Lady Belithi Keldorna was elected. She's done a fine job. She's fixed almost everything her pre predecessor messed up. Now we can walk the city streets and feel safe from rogues, bandits and the like. Moreover, since she has been in power, the people are very happy, and the city prospers. Two years ago, she even ended the feud we had with our rival town, Tri Tribor. We have always had conflicts with Tribor. How did she make friends there? Uh, the lady is cunning. She talked with the Lord Protector himself for a while. The old Water Baron wasn't that good with diplomacy, but the lady's different. 
the Lord Protector is stubborn, but he's not a fool. He had all the reasons in the world to hate the old water baron, but the lady, on the other hand, is a paladin of tear, always acting for the common good. He probably couldn't resist. Well, anyway, since that day, Yara and Dribor have had much better relations. Hmm. Anything else you can tell me about her? Uh, not much. Recently, she has been very busy developing new relations with people from the north. I have heard that we are going to have Mornburn's shield as an ally, but that's only a rumor. Hmm. I'm looking for Grassar. Do you know know him? You're looking for Grassar, eh? Well, you will surely find him at the warehouse. He's been spending a lot of time there lately. His warehouse is just across the bridge in the western part of Yarthar. Goodbye. Um, do I have money? Fifty gold pieces. So basically, I'm he's poor. I wonder if there's uh, how much there is to do outside the main quests. I mean, if I start exploring the city here, is there even a chance of me finding anything interesting, or is it uh, more of a just a waste of time? Wouldn't hurt to take a look, I suppose. But House of the Wars. Uh, the important locations seem to be pretty well marked on the map, so we don't have to go through everything with too fine of a comb. I, I think it's better if I take a bit of a look around now, so basically get a feel of what we can do and what we can't do. Hentian. Hello, Hentian. Hey there. Hey there. Help, okay. Hey there. He just says help. Too soon, apparently, to come here. Nurse, nurses and beggars. Right. Don't seem to be. Ooh. Sick man. I haven't seen anything particularly interesting. Well, hello there! Hi, stranger. What can I do for you? What is this place? This is one of the finest things the Water Baroness has done. She changed the white winged griffin into the house of the poor after she had the two former owners arrested. Apparently, they were informers for the Zentarim. Now the beggars have a, ho a, a home. Um, I, I don't think I want to keep announcing to everyone about my murderous intent, so we'll just say goodbye. I could have su suggested that we can... It's now easy to lock up the doors and burn up the house because all the beggars are in one place. I, I don't understand why the character is so cartoonish. I mean, I'm not sure if he, he has a good reason. It doesn't bother me if he hasn't, uh, what I wish to know is basically just what the deal is. Yeah, so there clearly is a uh, freedom to move around. But I don't know if the game relies on that or not. I mean, I could get level ups by adventuring on my own. It could change anything.
Speeding Power Beetle will give us 144. This is bad. This is very, very bad. I need to hit or I'm dead. There's no point defending. Uh, they'll get three attacks and I'm dead anyway. Right, we're halfway to a level up thanks to this. At the same time, we're in shit shape. I don't know how resting works in this game, so let's test it out. Area is not safe, you should find a secure room to rest. Okay. Good to know. Fire Beetles. I guess that means an inn, more or less. Two Fire Beetles. Better not risk this. Stink Beetle. Um, yeah, that's starting to get a little bit dangerous for a level one character. Uh, back dice roll and it's all over. Still, at least we can access to these places on our own. like a temple district. Temple of Tear. Shield Soldiers. Lamir de la Bora. Uh, can I talk to them? Would I want to? Well met. Well, well, well. What do we have here? I am Lamir de la Bora, Paladin of Tear. I've fought so many evil beings that I can smell the stench at a hundred leagues. Your heart is black, I can feel it. Good day to you. Yep, so yeah, uh, there's no point in me, I guess, trying to hide this thing for any, from anyone. They'll know. Paladins can smell me a hundred hundred meters away. Hello to you. Hello to you. Can tell me, my friend, what can I do for you? Two hundred gold for healing? Give me a fucking break. I have fifty-six. Um, I didn't know a temple tier had been built here. How long has it stood? This temple was built two years ago. The water baroness, in a moment of great wisdom, decided to give this city a temple devoted to Tyr, an example to all her people, of order, law, and all that is righteous. She is such a great woman, she went on a quest to fight against the evil Kraken society. She also brought to justice the many evil men. She is a shining example to follow. Okay, okay, I get the point. I see your wares. Merton's reaction is unfavorable, no shit. At least I can get rid of the bootman's outfit. Mm, uh, this would help me to basically get a feel what type of uh, equipment levels we can expect. There are a few more expensive items, but generally it seems like it's a fairly low level. Yeah. Nothing terrible, but nothing good either, so... Yeah. Hap Happy Hall of Fort... Happenstance. So, Temple of Timora. 
Lady Hua. Hello. The man seems to be very busy. Hello. Oh, sorry. If you need anything from the temple, please ask Moon Hall. I'm busy here. Why are you so busy? Well, I'm the priest in charge of delivering the temple services. You see, many people come here to receive the blessing of Taimora, and some others come for healing. Many are adventurers, much like yourself. Is it written on my forehead? For eyes used to adventures, yes, very obvious. It reminds me of something I must do. It must be luck that brought you here. There is a man called Hentian at the house of the poor. He is very sick. I've been concocting a special mixture for him. If I rewarded you, would you go give it to him? He really needs it and he has suffered so much. Yes, I'll do it. For a reward, of course. I recognize a kind person when I see one. Here's the cure. Indian is at the house of the poor. Please be quick. Do I want the money or do I have other options here? Origa's a pathetic priest of Taimura has was so busy taking care of things in the happy hole, he asked you to deliver a cure to a, for a poor man named Hentian. You should find him at the house of the poor. Hello to you. Um, decent equipment. Good magical uh, equipment. I'm not gonna buy equipment until we talk to the guy that we're supposed to meet. There's a good chance he'll provide some kind of basic gear. Uh, we can buy heals too, so... Uh, but fairly wide variety of things. Amulets of health, rings of lizard power... Yeah, there's a... Uh... Yeah, I haven't really considered an option. Uh, we could mix something in the warrior levels. Uh, I was thinking, would be would it would we benefit from something that would have arcane spell casting attached to it? Because it always unlocks a huge variety of uh, equipment you can use. I, I'm mainly thinking about spells. Uh, the hesitation I have for it at the moment is that this uh, this module is designed for a black card. So it might sort of dismiss certain type of uh, class equipment entirely. On the other hand, Blackguard is a prestige class, so there are a lot of roads that lead to it. So it's not like you can't add ma mage levels to it, but it'll keep delaying point until you be can become a Blackguard. So I'm not sure how literally I should be taking the title of the module. I, I could use the resources. So I, I think I'm leaning towards just delivering the... Delivering the cure. I mean, I, I don't give personally two shits about if he's gonna get the cure, but I have no invested investment in serious fuck invested interest in either not giving the cure either. Hey there. Help. Man looks very sick. Uh, do not worry, my friend. I am here to help you. The man smiles. Okay. Or guess from the temple of Taimora asked me to cure you. Don't move, you won't feel any pain. So we could just randomly kill the guy? Why? We're supposed to be here. Probably don't want to get arrested for murder because of some piece for peasant. Here, my friend. Origas from the temple of Taimora asked me to deliver this to you. Give him the or Origas' cure. 
Entian takes the cure and drinks it. Ten point toward good. Ooh, this is interesting. It means that uh, you have to be somewhat careful what you do. The man seems to feel better already. I don't know who you are, stranger, but I thank you who saved my life. Now, my friend, I must rest. Hmm. We have to, no matter what the cause, we have to stay evil, so... If we don't want to do some kind of ridiculously evil thing, like just randomly attacking some kind of homeless beggar, it's better basically, I think, just decline any kind of offers like these. At the same time, it's good information to know early on. The game clearly wants you to your choices to have drastic effect, like just giving someone else, being basically a delivery board to shift that alignment pinpoints to work good. Simple goddamn delivery that you get paid for, and you do do it only for the reward, and still it's the endpoint. So clearly, there's a there's a massive emphasis into how these consequences are accounted. Subtlety isn't a thing in this game. Hello to you. Uh, wrong guy. Hello, and welcome to you. Hello, have you delivered the cure to poor Hentian? Yes, I did. Don't worry about Hentian anymore, he's cured. Good. Now I know a good heart when I see one. Here's your reward. Hmm, 200 experience points, 100 gold. Uh, I, I, I feel this is a fairly harmless act to do. And I need, I, prob I probably would have basically tried to do as many things as possible anyway, so we would have had the Alignment shift uh, from another job, if not this one. So, better to learn it quickly. I don't recall what part of the city we need to go to. I think here. Western part of the yard are across the bridge, right? That's where we need to go. At the same time, maybe we should go. It's not like I can't return here later. Commoner is a moder moderate opponent to me. Yeah. Like a billion soldiers everywhere. I'm assuming it's marked on the map. It's probably past this. This is the headquarters they have. Looks like a fortress. Grassar's Warehouse. Nothing works! <laughs> 50 XP for killing a fucking yeah. drag. If we would ever hit it, that's the way that is. Uh, attribute wise, I think our we're basically going to put everything to strength. We have to be very good at what we do. We sort of do and done a sacrifice already by uh, not raising uh, strength to 18 right from the start. 
I guess I'm become a strong believer in flexibility in these character creations. Especially if you don't know the adventure beforehand entirely. You're much better off with a basically a slightly weaker tool in the correct way. The fitting tool that's slightly we weaker than the specialization can basically be without the tool at all. A uh, big problem for example is uh, powerful spellcasters. If you are, you, it doesn't matter how good of a brute that uh, you are that can only do melee damage. You're you're basically killing yourself if he has something like an acid sheet. Usually they have an acid sheet and flame walls or what the fuck is it? They flame shield. So it, you're just taking them down is a huge chore. You basically, I, I see you have couple of options. Either you can deal a lot of magical damage, you have a powerful range attack, or you can take down the barrier. If you have even a single level of arcane casting, you can at least take scrolls and wands. That's usually enough to maybe have a breach spell or to deal with the tougher mages. You have the tools necessary to survive. And the cost is what? Maybe a single point of attack? Maybe a couple attribute points that is too lower than the other one? It just... You're definitely worse at certain jobs, but uh, I feel... It's a good trade-off in general. There might be exceptions. like. If you have a group, then that's a different thing. Someone else can cover the, those spots, you don't need to do everything. But especially in a Neverwinter Nights 1, where you don't have a direct control of your group anyway, even if you have it. I feel it's a bit more beneficial to have the access to a wide variety of tools and do over special parts. He's one right away from a level up. I think initially we should push forward fighter levels. I'd probably take a bard level or something like that if I want to be a arcane spellcaster, access to items. It has a... Uh, it is... You don't lose quite so much by taking it. You at least have medium uh, basic attack bonus progression. It's more hit points too than a sorcerer or a wizard. Jesus fuck. And I lose to rats. <sighs> Two hit points left. Right. I think we can be a bard as long as we're not low pull. We could be a cleric too, but that wouldn't really get us anything all that interesting. Any non lawful. And charisma based failure casting, so it has some synergy with this, although my charisma is terrible. So. Uh, I'll go for fighter for now. Barbarian would have been a acceptable choice too. I didn't really think about that. Uh, fighter gets weapon specialization stuff, so fighter would be better. Okay, what are our specializations? Is it? Is that all? Actually.
high fiber extract. So most of the points will be spent later on. Five. Weapon focus would not be a terrible thing. Could go for exotic weapons too. I don't think this is would I don't think this would be a bad idea because we have no idea what type of weapon we could expect in this game. Absolutely none. Another would be expertise. Our armor class currently is shit. Uh, I'm leaning toward weapon proficiency exotic, although I mean there are not there are a couple of very good weapons. Bastard sword for one, war axes, uh, katanas, scythes. Hmm. Silly, you could probably make do without those without too much fuss. I think I'll take the. What about this arm? I'll take expertise. It's another tool at our disposal. Five points of extra armor class. On demand. Mr. Chest. And you are gonna take over the city. Attack bones of zero. Twenty-four bullets. It's a lot of rats. Nothing walks away. Here. The rats will hit us with 19 or 20, and naturally hit us. Best they have a 10% chance to hit while I have one. Uh, much larger chance. Jesus fuck. 18, 19, and 20, then 18, and 17. Where the fuck do your plus 5 come from? I've been terrible dice rolls compared to the rest. Yeah. 18, tw and 20. I don't need a great attack roll, but I still need something like uh, over 10. So the 6 and the 2 is just not good enough. As well kill all the rats. I have a feeling that the, the place had enough rats to basically guarantee you a level up for you.
Need a better weapon. Wonder if hmm. I was wondering could you combine Red Dragon Disciple and Black Guard? Don't actually know. Probably not. Alright, with this every hit should at least be lethal. Nothing walks away. Oh my god. <laughs> Critical hits on the right. We seem to be peppered with this random loot like it's candy, so I don't think the game's gonna be too stingy with looting and magical equipment. Why do I always miss? Attack roll 6. Attack roll 2. Right, that explains it. But they're rats. You, you should go uh, for box three. Five. In case we encounter some kind of proper opponent, um, I, I'm gonna need these potions. There's some attribute increasing ones, bark skin ones, so assuming we'll encounter a fighter of maybe one or two level above us, we might be even be able to squeeze a victory out of a fight like that without too much fuss. So, equipment should come in handy. Right. Not my proudest of mo moments, taking so much damage against rats, but... We move on. Now, why did the man tell me to come here? Who the hell are you? I greet you! I'm gonna kill that stupid fucking ass. I just can't believe what is happening. Look at this mess. It's a rat invasion. I'm gonna rip off his head. I'm Lando Roger, and I want to see Vargrak. Ah, uh, rats. Hey. I'm Lando, cool down. I need to see Fargrak. Do you know where he is? Can't you see I'm busy? I have a rat invasion problem here. If you want to help, go find that stupid man and rip off his head. And when I say rip off his head, I mean rip off his head. I see. So, if I bring you his head, will you help me? 
Yes, bring me his head and I will help you. His name is Stupid Man. Call him Stupid Man and show him no mercy. This bastard is hiding somewhere in the building. Find him, kill him, and bring me his head. Okay, wait here. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Can I rest now? Yeah. I guess this explains why they're being so generous with the healing. I mean, uh, it's not exactly a huge leap of logic to say that most black cards probably aren't healers. More rats, probably. Fuck your rats. Rip you to shreds! And fuck. Jesus, fuck with your dice rolls. Amazing. Amazing. Like fucking four rats and I'm all near death again. Every fucking... <sighs> I must have come from the Taimura temple. We need a tower shield against the rats. Otherwise, we'd have no luck, no chance of victory here. Hmm. We probably want a ranged weapon. Usually a huge fan of those, especially with a character like Blackguard, but uh, I think that's for the best in this case. If we're going for the have a more varied tools at our disposal, we might as well go for range damage too. We could weaken a rat before we get into a melee fight. Okay, that's a bit too many. Five. And you gave them an attack of opportunity. How many? Five. You stupid son of a bitch. You lost against rats. And you stopped attacking for some reason. What are my attack rolls? Five, one, yeah, it's just terrible rolls. Absolutely god awful. Six. We're at the lowest 25% mostly. That's better. I need a better armor. I get a little bit of benefit from dexterity, but I still probably would benefit mostly from just having a full play. Stupid man. Four. 
went deep for the raft. Short sword isn't good enough even to kill a rat. It, it really relies on you being able to do sneak attacks or something to increase the damage. This is not a warrior's weapon, this is a backstabber's weapon. Hey, can we talk? Well met. Help! Help! Yes? Are you the one they call stupid man? <laughs> stupid man! Oh, come on, it's not my fault I, if I drop the growth potion in a crate full of rats. They should have cleaned this warehouse before. You never know when you play with magic potions. You never know. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. It's his, not mine. Tell him it's not my fault. I can not laugh at him being a stupid man. Well, then give me your head and I'll forgive you. You die here now! Holy shit. Critical hit. And the fight is over. I'm, I'm no match for stupid men, apparently. Don't we, I don't have a range for them at all. No. But I don't understand is why he got a sneak attack on me. I mean, there was one-on-one -on -one fights. You don't get sneak attacks then. Why don't you just go there? Ring of Fortitude, I think. Short Sword plus one. So, pretty much the first opponents you face, and you get a magical weapons. There's nothing particularly wrong about it, it's more about an indication about how much magic the campaign will likely have. So, I would say quite a bit. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we came up from there, right? Rip you to shreds! Uh, we could get to a third level by killing rats. I do have to say that. It's it's not encouraging start to a module when you you find yourself in a warehouse killing rats. As a comparison, you could take a campaign like uh, Cavern of Song, which I think starts at first level and ends at you being on the fifth level, and it's a fairly satisfying adventure in those five levels. Feels like a media adventure, life lasts like 10 hours, more or less. So, in comparison, then you have quests where you kill, you kill rats in a warehouse versus something that you solve ancient mysteries, delve into interesting places, uh, fight against uh, dangerous opponents, enemy enemy groups of enemies in tactical combat situations and then you have rats in a warehouse I, I don't mean to shit on this specifically because 
it all boils down really how it basically is compared to the overall uh, I suppose entirety of the experience uh, this this is this is not meant to be a low level campaign so they basically want you to get out of there fairly quickly that that's how I view this more or less but it's still a lot of land, random loot containers that seem to have random loot and you're fighting against what? 40 rats? I mean if you just want the player to be at a certain level early on just start the guy with that, that level you can do that, you're, you're the DM you get to decide how, the, how these things work I personally, I, I don't. I would rather start at the third level than kill rats until I get to third level. I, I feel. It, it's not even about killing rats specifically, it's about. This, this doesn't really serve any purpose for the purpose of the story itself, for the adventure. They're just random shit, they could have been anything. How does this uh, relate to me being able to take on this entire city? I suppose it could be as a contrast. This is where we start from. A piece of shit bug who is killing rats in a warehouse versus where we'll end up in. So basically where we go from here will determine quite Significantly, how this should be viewed. Ah, I forgot about the taunting. If it's not in the quick quick slots, you don't really remember it exists. What do I want? Do I want to develop lore, or do I want to take search? I sort of want. Take search because otherwise it's pretty fucking hard to spot anything. Alright, improved expertise or what? What options do we have? The big problem with us is we we don't a lot of the warrior benefit comes from focusing our weapons, but we don't know a weapon to focus on. I don't want to just choose a random weapon because I have no idea if I'm gonna get a decent one like that. I, I think it's much more likely that we are basically just gonna use whatever comes our way. Toughness wouldn't hurt. Improved power attack would be useful too in certain situations. Improved expertise would be useful now. Ability to know all weapons, always useful. I'll take the improved expertise. Again, in the spirit of having more tools. Where's my taunting? You stupid rat. Found success. I like the taunting, and more importantly, I think it's uh, it fits this particular character quite well. He seems to be someone who basically tries to find an excuse to shout at everyone. I can dig to tool.
Bring it here! Try me! We have a tower shield. And more rats. Sweet Jesus, mean man. Sometimes there's just too many rats in your game. Thing click. I wonder how random this loot really is. It seems random, but randomly give, giving plus one protection rings in a rat infested uh, warehouse. Um, I don't, I, I don't think if this uses the Neverwinter Nice looting system, it would, you would have any chance of getting such items. Maybe it's not actually all that random, or it's a modified system. How about a halberd? Oh, no, 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 no. It's a two-handed weapon is not a bad choice by any means, but uh, in reality, this is how it usually goes. You are alone against a huge amount of enemies, so you have to have a fairly decent armor class if you want to succeed in uh, certain fights. So you have to have at least the capability of effectively use one hand weapon and a shield. If you want to specialize in something else, that's a different matter, but uh, it's har harder to pull that off. They're not impossible. With a two-handed weapon, you can simply do such an in insane amount of damage that you might be able to get to get away with it. Doesn't particularly matter how many of them are if you have great cleave and you can basically do something like forty to hundred points of damage reliably on every opponent with every strike, then you have your four to five strikes per round that you can do. So you're basically turning the enemy weaker enemies into a mist constantly. It's uh, it's not a fight. So you can make it work, but uh, a lower level that's that's hard to do. I greet you. I can't believe it. Look at the mess. So, have you done your job? <laughs> yes, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Here, my friend, a little nothing for your effort. I know you are looking for that new fellow, Parkrag, the one who arrived at the guild not long ago. Here, take this war token. It will let you pass the guild store. The guild hall is south of the marketplace. You should be able to find it easily. Now go. I have to clean up the whole warehouse now. Got 100 gold, 200 experience points, lost stupid man's head, and got the hand of Yartar ward. I'll leave things here. I'm interested in seeing where this uh, campaign goes. Because this is some cartoonishly evil shit that we have as options. Uh, there's very little nuance between the choices based on the what to do with the cure for the poor homeless man. Either you just give the cure, get your 10 goodness points, or you pick a fight with the poor man for no particular reason. Uh, which is odd because it would endanger your entire mission here in Yartar. So we are not some kind of subtle manipulator. We are uh, very straightforward, evil. Uh, as can cartoonishly be rude, son of a bitch. Not necessarily stupid, but uh, we're not the Palpatine kind of uh, evil. We're more like Vader coming straight at you with swinging a lightsaber kind of evil. 